A serious mistake in life is something that can send many into a downward spiral. But Cronkite News reporter Scotty Gange brings us the story of a man who reaches for the mountaintop every single day. Scotty? Whatever doesn't kill you makes you adaptive. That, at least, is the case of Jeremy Ogle, a South Phoenix racer who has made it his mission to inspire others to turn their lives around using his own story of struggle and survival. Okay, Google. Take me to Camelback Mountain. How do you start your day? All right, Camelback Mountain, let's go. No, no, let's rephrase that. All right. Start your day like Jeremy Ogle. Camelback Mountain. Let's go. Every morning, the 31-year-old summits the 2,700-foot mountain. For me, it's a good thing. You start your day with just positivity, um, and it carries throughout the day. For a guy who earns a living through professional racing, Jeremy doesn't waste his time. <sighs> Both before and after his hike, he delivers food from the mobile app Postmates for extra cash. But his daily exercise doesn't end at the top of the mountain. From Camelback to the inside of this gym, Jeremy is what some would call a physical marvel. But his workout routine goes far beyond just building muscle. I like to inspire people to aspire to be a better them because I, I truly believe that the best and most inspirational thing that you can do um, is to be yourself. From the outside, Jeremy's life could be described as an upward climb. Good morning. Good morning. But for the guy that can bench press 100 pounds and deadlift as much as 345, Ogle turned a life-changing mistake into an opportunity. I had a blood alcohol level at the hospital of 0.274, which as you know is above three times the legal limit. In 2015, Jeremy collided with a car as he rode his motorcycle home after a night out drinking. He suffered nerve damage in his spine, leaving his left arm numb and paralyzed. Eventually, he decided to amputate it. Not everyone as lucky as to me to be four years later minus one arm and life a thousand times better. Since the accident, he's won a national para Spartan race, two national Paralympic Team USA medals for track and field, and just to rub it in, he ran a marathon this past March. I mean, I can honestly, I could even probably sum it up to one of the biggest challenges is that people think that I have it harder than other people. While the last four years have been full of physical accomplishments for Jeremy, his growth mentally <laughs> has been far more important. I've always been depressed. I spent 31 years being negative and angry. In his 20s, Ogle says he struggled with substance abuse, but now he hopes to help others on their path, as he did for himself. You know, my story isn't a sad one. Jeremy's life has not been a walk in the park. It's been an uphill battle, and a difficult one at that. And as I or rather anyone would peel off to take a break right about now, Jeremy never could, as his daughter Eloise was born three months after his accident. Because <laughs> Eloise is the peak of Jeremy's life. What? Um this is the best part. With her mother out of the picture, Jeremy has full custody. But for a single father who goes by the nickname Arm Solo, Jeremy is as far away from alone as you can be. My life is a hundred times better than what it was. It actually has purpose and value now. Jeremy's love for his adorable four-year-old has been the ultimate fuel to live a healthy life Go. filled with joy. <laughs> when she was a baby, he used to change her diaper with his mouth. And we were like, how does he do that? And she just lay there and let him do it. Oh, Eloise. Yeah, can we can make this. Just like her dad. <laughs> is strong. So, how do you start your day? Now, it's different for everyone. But learn from Jeremy. Because he would tell you, <laughs> what really matters is to make it matter. I will see you on the way down. Big things are happening in the Ogle household. While Eloise had her first day of preschool last week, Jeremy is preparing for his next Spartan race, taking place in Laughlin, Nevada, next weekend. In the studio, Scotty Gange, Cronkite News.